Divergence, Branch D. A single decision can change everything. So what do Zero's decisions mean for this world? Will they bring about salvation or destruction? There is one last branch to follow, and it begins in the land of mountains. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting you to stick with me for so long. Well, being free isn't really freedom, is it? Wow, deep. So deep. My mind, it is blown. Shut up before I kill you. Or better yet, just die on your own. Now, where were we? Oh, right. Me hanging with you and all that. Honestly, I don't really care why you're running around doing all this killing and whatnot. Personally, I'm having the time of my life here. I mean, watching you slash and maim and kill all these ugly bastards? It's like a five-star vacation in hell! Seriously, I'm loving it. You're the best! Decadus and Octa sure do have a rough time of it. What? Well, they now serve you, Lady Zero, yes. Which means they're gonna have to kill their own intoners at some point. Oh. Looks like I hit a nerve there. What about your intoner, Scent? Lady Two? Hmm... I'm afraid that's my little secret. God, I hate this guy. Can't we just kill him? Like, now? Please? Well, Lady Zero, I was thinking... Maybe we could get it on tonight. The game is afoot, hmm? You know what? Hey, you guys shouldn't fight. We all need to get along. <laughs> Worry not, dear dragon. Zero and I couldn't get along any better when it comes to this. Tonight? Mm, uh, no. I gotta... wash my hair. Hey, Zero! Let me play the Get It On game, too! That's not a good idea. Why not? Well, you see, you're a... Uh, I mean... Drop it, Octa. Oh, come on. I want to know. If we're all friends and stuff, why can't I play the Get It On game? Huh? Come on, let me. I bet I'd be real good at it. No. And Octa's not playing tonight either. But the burning passion in my loins... How are you faring, Lady Zero? I'm fine. But your eye... I'm fine, so stop worrying. You're starting to piss me off. Oh, your words are deliciously painful. Are you really gonna kill all your sisters, Zero? That's the plan. But why? You really want their intoner powers that bad? I mean, what are you gonna do with all that power anyway? I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it once and for all. Hey. Huh? What is it? I need to tell you something. Uh-oh. You sound serious. I take it you've noticed your... cravings by now. Huh? Well, what do you mean? I know how you look at all of us. In toners, I mean. Don't worry, it's fine. That's just how dragons are made. But, but Zero, I... I... Enough talk. It's time. The final battle awaits.
four must remain safe. I won't let that winch lay a finger on her. Protect Lady Four with your lives. Don't let Zero inside Lady Four's citadel. The citadel up ahead, huh? Thanks for the directions, Chuck. Damn it! Kill that woman. Let's go. I'll be stopping you. Lady Four stays with us. She's a demon. It's four, 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 all day with you idiots, isn't it? I can't believe you fall for that cutesy act of hers. Why did you dare say Lady Four with that rotten flower of yours? If we're that infatuated with the Four, I'll make sure you die together. Requires further support. Not happening. Oh, oh, oh. I'm able to get it for me. Sometimes old timers have that problem with their man bananas. God, shut up already! If your man banana is so tough, why don't you fight with it, huh? Oh. And you, freak show, stop imagining it. Forward! Charge! Here she comes! 
My lady, you appear fatigued. Forget about it. I'm fine. Mm. Don't wager the magic within your flower is growing stronger. If I had to guess, I'd say the blossom is absorbing your. Let's go. Lady Zero does a good job of hiding it, but something is rotten with that flower of hers. It's not rotten, it's as beautiful as the dawn. You misunderstand. I mean only that it is suspicious. Perhaps there's more to it than meets the eye. Ah, oh, right. Now I get it. You do? <laughs> of course. Just worried her little accessory will go out of style. Uh, right. Concentrate on the battle. Everything is going on. Kill that man. I suppose it has been one massacre after another. <sighs> Tuck her down there, Tiger. That was not a moan of pleasure. 
What will Lady Zero do once the Intonas are no more? How would I know? And why would I care? Right now, there's lots of killing going on. And that's all I really need. up ahead. Let's go. to be scared of this world because once I destroy it there won't be a world to be scared of anymore <laughs> the flowers taken her over 
This entire world will sing for me! <laughs> Sophia, come to me! <laughs>
this to me! Do you remember, Zara? Do you remember how I used to imitate you all the time? Your clothes, your hair, your makeup, everything! <laughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that never actually happened. So now, I'm going to imitate you again. If you're going to be an intoner killer, then I'm going to be an intoner killer too. Then the world will finally be quiet. Shh. Not a peep from you, Laura. <laughs> Imagine, Zero. Find I in the silent world. A world where we can play hide and seek. Are you hiding yet, Zero? Are you? Don't worry. Your sisters will be joining you soon enough. Hey, she's all yours. The sisters are coming undone. Mikhail suddenly evolved two levels at once. In the midst of all these anomalies, Zero is heading for the land of forests. So you see, dragons have a hunger. They want to eat intoners. And the stronger an intoner's magical force, the stronger that craving becomes. That said, some of them do manage to control such longings. That's why Mikhail here can stay calm around Zero, for example. Yeah, I can control it. I'm awesome! Mm, I still have some unanswered questions. True, this explains why dragons seem intent on devouring intoners. But why would they have such a craving in the first place? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. So, like, who are you anyway? 
My name is Accord. I'm a friend of Zero's. <laughs> Liar. I barely know you. Is there no way Intoners and Dragons can live at peace with each other? Nope. It'd be a waste of time to try. Mikhail seems content enough at the moment. If he's held it back until now, why would that change in the future? Forget it. He's got a role to fulfill in all this. That Accord woman smells simply delightful. Oh my, yes. Much better than you, Lady Zero. That's sweet of you. Hey there, beautiful. You make my heart go pity pat. Uh, <clears throat> I said, you make my heart go pity pat. Your emotional state and my response to it is irrelevant to this branch. Yeah, see, now you're breaking out the big words. Even a smart guy like me is having trouble following. But goodness, you certainly are beautiful. Of course, you could be even more lovely if you wanted. Maybe trim the hair, take off the glasses, a quick dye job up top? Are you trying to make her look like two? Me? What? No! That's absurd! Hey, Zero! Don't listen to what that weird girl said, okay? You mean the bit about how you're gonna eat me? Yeah, that's me! I'd never eat you, Zero! Never! You sure? I mean, you already eat rotten meat. It's not like you're picky. No way! I bet you taste way worse than rotten meat! You really know how to cheer a girl up. Who the hell is this chick, anyway? You planning to let her join us, Zero? Are you kidding? Good. I can't stand that type. What type? You know. The type who looks all prim and proper and whatever. The type who walks around like their shit don't stink. The type like five, okay? I can't stand him. Makes me want to puke. You're as bad as scent. Lady Zero, perhaps it would be wise to keep your distance from Mikhail. Huh? No, it's fine. But... I need him. Huh? Well, okay, I don't necessarily need him. But I need a dragon, and he's the only one I got. Hey, you. Knock off the bullshit, okay? The... bullshit? Huh. You must be referring to my statement that Mikhail was going to eat you. You don't need to repeat it. Does this scare you? Scare me? Hell no. One death is as good as another. Not that. I'm talking about the idea of losing your friends. I don't have friends. I never have. What will you do next? Track down three and kill her. Oh, and if you follow me, I'll kill you too. Don't worry. I don't have permission to interfere in battle. Well, good then. Do take care of yourself. This branch you're in is heavily damaged, and the world will only grow more chaotic as you proceed. Thanks for the... tip. Of course, that also means there's a greater chance of saving the world as well. Go to it. 
Do take care, ladies. These men lost their minds. Like I care. I've been surrounded by loons from the get-go. Is the guy who likes being kicked in the balls. <laughs>
stinky, slimy, gory, rotten. This battle's gonna be hard. Yeah, the dude can't wait. This sight is beyond imagining. What is happening here? Really? Who cares? Me? I feel great. Huh? Seriously? I didn't know you were so big on nature. The only thing that matters right now is that five no longer exists. Honestly, I've never felt better. Yeah. So much for killing that pig zero. I mean it. Watch what you say about Lady Five, Dita. It behooves us not to curse her. Whatever. I'll curse her corpse until the day I die. I'll never forgive her. Never! the next intoner. It's gonna be great! You do know I'm an intoner, too. No sane person could ever live in here. Hmm? I don't mind it so much. He said sane person, said. That means not you.
dead? <laughs> That's so awesome, I can't stand it! Forward! 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 I thought I killed you. You dumbass. You resurrected yourself? Arise. Galgalia. better than ever now. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of insane world I've always wanted. It's just perfect for an undesirable sap like me. I think I'm gonna stay here forever! <laughs> I love this new you, Five. You can do whatever you want to me. Anything at all. <laughs> Hey, Z. <laughs> Looks like your number's up. <laughs> Fanuel, arise! Egregory, dance! Take care of five. Yeah. What's 
five doing her in the forest instead of three. Perhaps Accord was right about the world breaking down. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Oh my gosh, this place is freaking great! Look at it, Sam! It's amazing! There's blood and guts and everything! It's a world where the only ugly is beautiful, and a world where idiots are geniuses! Join me, Sam! Me? Yeah, you! Come on! I know you hate the world you're in! I've known it forever! It's written all over your face! Hmm? That obviously. Well, I suppose what? that might be the case. Not even yeah. if I were to join you in that world, it wouldn't revive me too. Huh? My place was by her side. That's really all I ever had. Oh, what the hell, man? You sound like a lovesick teenager. It's me want to puke my guts all over the floor. <laughs> Five's awake, huh? summoned an angel without the aid of an intoner. Gonna have to pay for it somehow. Oh, come on! That's not even fair! I finally found it! I finally found a world I can live in and truly love! 
Sira, wait! No, 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 no! Sent. So that's how it is, huh? I honestly had no idea. I am just an idiot, after all, right? Oh well. <laughs> There's no point in living in a world without Lady Two anyway. Now I can rest. We are recorders. Our duty is to observe. But as I continue to record the singularity known as Zero, I began to find myself filled with very strange emotions. Oh, oh. so it seems disciples were always meant to be paired with certain intoners? Yep. Well, this explains a lot. So Dito and Sent reverted to their original forms, as payment for summoning angels without their intoner's power. It takes a lot of energy to summon an angel. Without the power of a song, there was no way for them to keep their human forms. <laughs> well, this certainly mucks up the works now, doesn't it? And on top of that, it looks like Mikhail is having trouble restraining his appetite. You could say that. What did that Accord girl say again? It's a dragon's instinct to consume the flower? I don't think he can hold something like that in check so easily. When the time comes, I'll feed him. He can have me. <sighs> By the way, Octa. Yes? Isn't it about time you had a bath? But I thought you enjoyed my musky odor. Besides, the sweet tang of man funk really gets me in the mood. Wash up or get out. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma indeed. Really? Now you two. Can I have a moment? Yes. Good. Because you both need to hear this. Yes? I'm not going to mince words here. It's about our nighttime activities. Your performance has been abysmal. Preposterous. My gargantuan joystick is the talk of the town and taverns of the world. Size doesn't equate to joy in this case. Huh? Look, it's not about how many times you continue. It's about making the most of your play session. Just being gargantuan is worthless. So either level up your skills or we're done, got it? E yes, my lady. Terribly sorry, my lady. As for you, Decadus, frankly, you've always been a perfect gentleman to me. I seek only to serve you in all things, my lady. But your preferences are a bit extreme. We can't go five minutes without you begging me to punish you somehow. <sighs> 
That kind of stuff is fine on occasion, but if we do it every single time, it loses its impact. A thousand apologies, my lady. Great, then. I'm glad we had this talk. Class dismissed. Yes, yes my lady. lady. Do you guys ever sleep? I always hear the three of you yelling and making weird noises at night. We're just playing around before we go to bed. You're playing? Aw, oh, no fair! I wanna play too! Um, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Can I play when I grow up? Huh? Please! We'll talk about it later. By the way, Okta, do you ever consider just, you know, satisfying yourself? Ho oh, oh. ho! And why would I do that when I have the whole world as my lover? The whole... wait, what? Well, an intoner is best, of course, but if one's not available, a human will suffice. If neither of those are available, will do. are all right, too. In fact, I've been really enjoying lately. That's just wonderful. Having trouble sleeping, my lady? Not tired, I guess. I imagine not. Only a madman could sleep in a world such as this. Still, please try to sleep. You need your rest. What are you, my mother? No. I am your disciple. I swore to serve you for eternity. I swore to give my life in your name if needs be. All right, all right. If I need something, I'll let you know. I suppose Lady Three was never in the forest after all. Ho oh, ho, the Land of Sands then? Or perhaps the Cathedral City? Better tackle them both. One and three have to be hiding somewhere. You fly up and search from above. The three of us will check the underground rooms. Okay! Very well, my lady. Understood. <sighs> my lady? This feels off somehow. Perhaps because Dito isn't here to complain about the plan. And sense not making up facts that couldn't possibly be true. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hmm. I would wager Lady Three is hiding in here. Why is that? She always did enjoy dark places like this. That and these ruins are the only nearby refuge. Right. Let's give it a look. Stand! Glory to our beautiful Lady Three! Kill her! Oh! That's zero! Here goes nothing! Go home! Circle around her! You're not getting near Lady Three! Oh, yes, I am. Octa and Decadus are with her. Stand firm, soldier. Yes, sir. <laughs> Such foolish courage. Our mission is to guard Lady Three. Then I suggest you find another line of work. Don't panic. Don't humiliate yourself before Lady Three. 
May Lady Three watch over us always. We must serve Our Lady and kill these monsters! What? Antona, stay calm. Panic will only get you killed! There she is! It's Zero! Don't let her near our beloved Lady Three! Wow, Three's pretty popular, huh? Indeed! She's been gaining fame even outside this the Land of Forests for a while. Especially for men who aren't into those sorts of extracurricular activities. Dare I even ask? Getting sick of these shitheads. I just want to murder three and get this over with.
breathing rather heavily, my lady. Is the flower on? I'm fine. Top three like dark places. She does, my lady, but well now. She enjoys high places as well.
do 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 My name is Mikhail. My name is Mikhail. I really love me some zero. I'm not a stinky dragon, nor am I a dirty dragon. Hop on my back and let's go for a ride. Yay! Do 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 do. It's time for verse two. My name is Mikhail. My name is Mikhail. I also love me some rotten meat. Give me praise, give me praise, give me praise, give me praise. Tell me I'm the bestest. Hop on my back and let's fly through the sky. Yay! Hey. Huh? There better not be a third verse. What? Sing again and I'll kill you. Fine. Up ahead. I can feel the sun up ahead. You sure? I didn't think three could fly. I can feel it, Zero. She's here. I know it. Other than the goddamn gargoyle cubes? Gargoyle cubes? Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Those cubes require massive amounts of magical energy to operate. It's highly doubtful. If they could ever power them alone, there must be some kind of power source nearby. <laughs> of course there is. Of course!
talking something that damn big be that damn fast! Decadus, how did you get here? I had Okta give me a boost. That's kind of amazing. You appear to be in some trouble. Yeah, I can't hit this twitchy son of a bitch. Leave it to me. My angel holds the power to slow down his movements by a considerable degree. Sounds great. Get on with it. Yeah. But if I use such power, I'll go back to being a bird. <sighs> Your lack of pity is intoxicating. What? You want to call it off? <laughs> you deny me this pleasure? No. I must do this. It is my reward. <laughs> <laughs> Uphold! Sure is quiet. 
quiet now that everyone's gone. Feeling lonely, are we? Yeah. I miss chatting with everyone before bedtime. No point thinking about it now. Go to sleep. Why the long face, Akta? Late for your nightly measuring ceremony? Ah, uh, yes. I tell you, it is really quite strange. The little scamp won't rise for me tonight. Not a single twitch. That's unusual. So much for the great Octa's illustrious career, eh? <laughs> Let's get going. My lady, if I may, I think the time has come for you to tell me about your flower. <sighs> Forgive me, my lady. Have I overstepped my bounds? No, I suppose it's about time. It all started two years ago. The first time I saw this flower was the day I died. Now I'm just a corpse being kept alive by the flower's magic. A corpse. My brain, my heart, my body. It's all being kept in motion by the flower. I'm no longer alive in any real sense of the word. This flower is a calamity that threatens the entire world. It's growing feeding off me. Eventually it's going to consume me entirely. And once that happens, once it's fully grown, it's going to destroy everything. <laughs> Pretty shit deal, huh? I realized I was infected by a flower that was going to end the world. I tried to kill myself. 
Well, technically I was already dead, but yeah. Anyway, I tried to rip the damn thing out, but in the end, that just made things worse. The flower freaked out, started sprouting as children. Five little girls, one after the other. And it burst out of me and ran off before I could blink. Basically, to prevent me from killing it, the flower made copies of me. And that's how I ended up with my sisters. Of course, these children aren't any more alive than I am. So now... The eldest corpse is running around killing all of its little corpse sisters. <laughs> Insane, isn't it? My sisters took everything from me. They each ran off with a piece of my magic. Or the flower's magic, I guess. At first I tried to recapture them, but they had all my power. And I had nothing. You want to know the best part? After a while, my sisters started fighting for peace. They come from a flower that's gonna end the world, and they fight for peace? Hilarious. Anyway, that's when I made my choice. I decided to kill my sisters, and then destroy the flower. I figured I started this whole mess, you know? I might as well finish it. So that's about the long and short of it. That's what this whole thing's about.
Michael. I can hear you. There's no need to shout. As I searched for a way to kill my sisters, I learned there was only one option. If I wanted to put him in the ground for good, I was going to need a dragon. See, to break the flower's magic, only a dragon, or a weapon made from a dragon, will do the trick. So I joined up with Michael, the strongest dragon of them all. And the two of us worked together. Zero. Yeah? Are you certain about this? What's wrong, Michael? You scared? Bah, I feel nothing. <laughs> A dragon who reneges on his word? That'd be something. I would never sully myself so. Then you know what to do. Once all my sisters are dead, you have to kill me too. Deal? Agreed. Well, well. Glad to see you're finally interested in hearing me out. Yeah. Though you could sound a bit more thankful, at least. Just start talking before I tear you apart. Ooh, scary. Fine, fine. Listen up. For starters, let's talk about your sisters, shall we? You know. The accursed sisters that you're destined to fight? Then, we should talk about how much time you've got left. The final entry in my recording draws near. No matter what conclusion awaits us at the end of this branch, 
I know that I will never forget this journey. So this is one's home base, is it?
you dare miss out on No one. I'm gonna do this, Sigma. I mean, I'll try real hard. I don't understand this. And I don't know if it's right. But I'm gonna try! I you may not ever see you again, right? Toners as easily as you can. Like I can trust you. Recording M5310 E0040 GM. The flower's defenses created five sisters from Zero's body. At first, they were simply corpses controlled by the flower. But soon they gained self awareness and began to act of their own free will. If the flower isn't destroyed, Mankind has no future in this branch. Some of us are of the opinion that this branch should be sealed off at once. But I disagree. I think at least one of them might be able to accomplish it. No. 
I should stop. I'll arrange this entry and hand the recording off to the next pass in its current state. End recording. Stone one last time, my lady. <coughs> See, even in times of crisis, my man's sword is as sharp as a witch's. <coughs> Understood. Executing code. You weren't going to interfere. Yes, but this went a little different than I had planned. However, I think this way was more human, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Zero, please. I'm a little tired. Good night, Accord. Tell the old world I said hi.
Zero. This is it. Once the flower's in full bloom, you have to destroy it. There's one more thing I need to tell you. What? You've grown strong, Mikhail. Thank you.
hero? Yeah. I... I had a lot of fun. With you, I mean. It was fun being with you. The killing was hard. It was really hard. But... Stop repeating things. But getting to be with you, Zero? Getting to eat next to you? Getting to fly around with you? Getting to have you yell at me? And then getting to be friends again? It was really, really fun. I'm glad. Mikhail. Yeah? It's... almost time. Okay. Recording. The intoners have been sealed off in another world. The threat of the flower has been extinguished from this branch. However, the possibility exists that this seal could unravel at some time or location in the future. Until then, our recording efforts will continue. Oh, and a personal addendum regarding my observational target, Zero. Perhaps this is beyond my functional requirements as a recorder, but I cannot shake the feeling that somehow, somewhere, Zero is still alive. And that... someday... Someday, she and I will see each other again. Crazy, I know. Call it a hunch.
Handover of recording duties complete. Excellent work. Well, I wonder how the future is going to unfold from here on. Here's another huge mess for us to deal with. 
That was uh, I wonder how long well, that was a secret to everybody. <laughs> Everyone split up and begin recording. Understood. I hope to see you again someday, but until then... I'd like to say, thank you for playing. <laughs>